quick video about updating uh, stocks, stock status in Stitch. So if you're logged to stock status in Stitch, I didn't even do that on purpose. Awesome. So if you're in Stitch and you're logged in and you hit inventory, in order to get to the inventory that you would be updating, you would click on variance. And this is only if you need to do a manual update of some kind. This would be for um, the Berkeley warehouse or, you know, um, anything like that. So if it doesn't load quickly for some reason, just click on all again. If it says nothing, just click on all and that will load the products in here. And then you can see various stock statuses. Now, no, I'm not actually going to update. Um, well, I'll update one here, just the bulk for anti-aging facial oil, but they automatically all stay at zero for all the bulk products. Um, those aren't updated, but let's just say you wanted to update this and you wanted to put five in here. This is not immediately intuitive, but I put five in and then in order to save this, you have to actually hit the enter key. It won't save it unless you hit the enter key. That's the only way that it's actually going to save that stock status in Stitch. So not immediately intuitive, um, but that's how you update that. Oops. All right, let me go back. I don't know why it took me into there. Um, if you do end up on that screen, though, we'll go to that one next. Um, so if you do end up on that screen, you can also update it from there. But from here, again, you would just change it and then hit Enter once you're in there, and it's going to update that for you inside of Stitch. Um, but let's say you end up inside of the individual product. Okay, so um, you're looking for an individual product. Let's say, like this morning, Lisa and I were looking for 1083. There's a couple of options here. We've got variant custom IDs, and then we've got contacts. Those are actually people who have ordered. Um, so that's going to search for numbers. But you could do it this way, but you don't necessarily want to. Um, because if you click on this, it's going to take you into the individual product which is going to take you away from the quick edit screen for inventory. So what you would want to do instead is type in the actual product name, Earth Minerals. All right, so just I'm just going to leave it at that. Now up above there are variants. So you can click on the variant and that'll take you into the individual product. But if you want to just update from a product screen, you can click on the products and that will leave you on the um, main product search. It didn't in this case because I was already there. Um, so let me go back and demonstrate this. Sorry. So I'm here on the main uh, variance search. But let's say I don't want to go away from this screen and I just want to update right from this screen. What I do to do that is instead of searching for the SKU, I search for the product name. And then I get Again, the variance at the top, the listing of variants for that, but I get also the listing of products down below. So I can just click on the products here, and that's going to load it on this screen. So the product search in here is actually, if, you know, if we're searching for something, um, going to the product search down below will give the inventory screen the ability to update. Again, you click in here, and then to update it, you would change the number to whatever you want and then hit enter. You'd want to make sure to hit enter to update it, not publish listings or product or whatever. Okay, so let's just say you don't do that. Um, you don't update from this screen. You forget and you accidentally type in and go into the individual uh, product to update the individual product here. If you want to update the inventory on the individual product screen, Again, none of this is that intuitive, so that's why I'm making this video. Uh, if you want to update the individual product from this screen, if you end up in here, you hit this Quick Reconcile button. On the Quick Reconcile button, when you do that, it's going to pull up the various warehouses, and then you can update from there. Do you hit Enter to save in this box? No, <laughs> you don't, which is totally confusing. Instead, you hit the Save button, and that will update the stock. So it depends what screen you're on, which action you take. Um, again, from this screen, you would hit save. From the other sort of all products listing screen, you would hit enter, and that would save the product from there. Hopefully that makes sense. Uh, let me know if you have any questions, and hopefully this video is helpful.